today we'll be discussing about the diagnosis of breast lumps. So whenever a lady feels any lump in her breast, she goes to her doctor and uh, the doctor does something known as triple test. Triple test means there are three ways to detect and diagnose that lump. So the first one is just the clinical examination. That means the doctor will palpate the breast and the lump and try to find out whether it looks cancerous or non-cancerous. That is the clinical acumen. And the second part of the diagnosis is the radiology. That means either a mammography or a sonography will be done. And uh, what test will be done will depend upon the age of the patient and the clinical suspicion. So either one mammography or sonography can be done or even both can be done. And then the third part of the triple test is uh, the pathology. That means a cytopathological or a histopathological diagnosis. So what is done in this is that some cells or tissue out of the lump is taken and it is sent to the pathology lab and the pathologist sees the tissue under the microscope and then they give the final diagnosis about that lump. This is a very important component of uh, the triple testing for uh, breast lump and it should ideally be done for all the suspicious breast lumps, whatever be the age of the patient. So today we'll be, uh, I'll be showing you these two procedures, how the FNAC is done and how the core biopsy is done. So first of all, coming to the FNAC. What is an FNAC? FNAC means it stands for Fine Needle Aspiration Cytology. So FNAC is a very, very simple test. And what is done is a small syringe needle is taken. And I'm showing here a model of the breast. So a little bit cleaning is done initially. This is the breast lump as you can see over here on this model. Cleaning is done and then the syringe needle is just inserted very gently into the lump as you can see. Some cells are aspirated from that lump. The needle is moved in a few directions so that the entire lump is sampled and you get cells from all parts of the lump and then it is taken out a little bit of pressure is applied so that there's no bleeding and then the material is sprayed onto the slides this material is the cells which are there on the in inside the syringe and this material is sprayed onto the slides and a smear is made so these cells are spread all over the slide and a smear is made this is then put into a solution and sent to the pathology lab so the pathologist is going to be checking these slides under the microscope after a little bit of processing and then they will be giving the diagnosis regarding what is the lump is it cancerous, non-cancerous, how does it look or what could be the possible diagnosis. So this is a very simple procedure, advantages are it can be done anywhere, any OPD. Very simple as I said, you just feel the lump, palpate it, put in a needle syringe and just take out a few cells. So simple to do and uh, should be done wherever possible. However, there are certain problems with fine needle aspiration cytology. It is not very accurate since only few cells are going to be taken out and not the core of tissue. Hence, the diagnosis is based on very less material. Also, we need very, very uh, competent cytopathologists to report on these few cells. So, you know, the, uh, the accuracy is not as great. It's possible to miss a diagnosis within FNAC. Hence, there is another test known as a core biopsy test. Core biopsy means we take a little more tissue out of the lung. More tissue means a better diagnosis. The sensitivity of this procedure is higher and this is recommended all over the world for diagnosis of uh, breast lungs. In comparison with FNAC, this is definitely a better test. So what is done in this test? I'll just show you that. So a little bit of local anesthetic is taken since this is a little bigger procedure than the FNAC. This local anesthetic is injected into the lump. As you can see, the lump is over here. And 
this is how the local anesthetic is put in once the skin is anesthetized then either we can make a very small cut a neck or it may not be required also at all and then what we do is take a core biopsy needle this is a core biopsy needle that we use commonly this is a disposable needle a single use needle and uh, it is pre sterilized when we open it from the back it is taken out there are different sizes available as you can see over here so this is the way the needle is when we put it in it goes forward about 2 cm when it is fired this is how it moves so it has a automatic spring mechanism so now once the local anesthesia has set in we put the needle inside it's important to remember that the needle throw is 2 cm beyond so you know that is the tissue that we'll be getting for the biopsy and not exactly at the tip of the needle when we put it so accordingly we palpate the lump fix it go in the center of the lump and this is the switch for firing we just fire that take out the biopsy needle press the wound because it's likely to bleed sometimes and then just try and take out the core the core will be there in the needle this is the core that's there that's come out from this so that is one core of tissue in this way we take out several cores of tissue so go in through the same spot again go in a little different direction in the same lump fire the gun again press it and take out the cores again so this is the second core that we've got over here again go through the same thing little different direction you can see that again fire it take it out this is the third core that's come out in this way we take at least 3 to 4 cores so that you know we don't miss any uh part of the lump this is the fourth core usually four to five cores are sufficient for diagnosis and we really don't need to take out any more so these cores are then put into a formalin fixing solution and sent to the lab so as you can see compared to the fnac the tissue cores are much more they provide a lot more material to the pathologist for diagnosis another advantage is it uh, we can uh, check the receptor status the estrogen receptor the progesterone receptor and the hormone receptors on this tumor tissue in case this turns out to be a breast cancer so we get a lot more information about the breast lump if we do a core biopsy as compared to the fnac so Core biopsy is recommended, as I mentioned earlier, in comparison to FNAC wherever it is possible, and there are several advantages to it. It is totally pain-free. There is no cut. It's done under local anesthetic, and even later on, once the anesthetic effect wears off, it does not really pain. And we also prescribe some painkillers so that patients are totally comfortable with the whole procedure. a little bit of compression is kept on the breast for some time so that there's no bleeding and there might be a little bruising later on due to some small clot or hematoma over there this dressing is kept for about 2 uh, days and then the patient herself can remove the dressing at home and uh, take a shower so as you can see this is a minimally invasive procedure you know we are not really taking a big cut and taking the whole lump out as it, as it used to be done in the past uh several years back doctors for diagnosis of breast lumps had to actually take them in the operation theater give them anesthesia and you know cut the lump take it out send it to the lab and then the pathologist would tell whether it was a cancerous or a non cancerous lump and then if it turned out to be cancerous the patient would again be posted for surgery and a second surgery would need to be done 
So with the help of this simple uh, piece of equipment, the core biopsy needle, the need for one surgery has been totally, um, totally uh, negated and the patients can just get this done for the diagnosis and the report is very accurate, the sensitivity high and uh, you know the diagnosis can be confirmed before the surgery and then depending on the diagnosis either surgery or medicines or whatever else is required the exact accurate treatment that can be started. The disadvantages of this procedure uh, it's a little major than uh, the FNAC, which is just a needle prick. So this is a little major. There might be some bleeding later on. Uh, that bleeding, of course, is not very major. As I said, we apply compression, so it really does not affect, but there might be a little bit of bruising over there. Uh, there might be some minimal pain. Some patients may feel some discomfort. But apart from this, there aren't any major uh, disadvantages to this procedure. In fact, the benefits of this far outweigh the, um, the disadvantages or the side effects of this procedure. So I would recommend all patients and doctors also to recommend the core biopsy procedure for diagnosis of breast lumps since accurate diagnosis is so very important for correct treatment.